Hi, this is Congressman Joe Walsh. How are you? We've had another busy week in Washington this week. Heading back home tonight on a plane, and then I'll come back again next Tuesday. Can't wait to be home and see a lot of my constituents. Um, obviously, the, you know, the news that started the week is the killing of Osama bin Laden. A wonderful victory, a 10-year victory for our troops and our intelligence folks. And uh, we should all celebrate as we have, but we should also always be so aware of the fact that this war on terror continues and we need to keep our guard up. Uh, I also held my first subcommittee uh, meeting this hearing this week as the, uh, the chairman of a small business subcommittee. Great hearing, went well, and I cannot wait to continue to be a real strong advocate for small business. Virginia from Hoffman Estates asking me if I flipped on oil subsidies. Heck no, Virginia. Um, don't know what vote you're alluding to. I have been firm and will continue to be firm that when it comes to corporate welfare, when it comes to subsidies for any in, in, in any of these industries, uh, everything's on the table right now and we can't allow them. We've got to cut spending, and especially when it comes to the big corporations. I am very much against uh, subsidies for the oil companies. I am for my government freeing them up so they can drill, drill, drill as much as possible. But we have not had a clean up or down vote on oil subsidies. And when we do in this Congress, I will vote against. Hey, this is for Joey from Mundelein. Hope you're doing well. Uh, your question is, what am I gonna, how am I going to represent the folks in the 8th District who didn't vote for me? And again, you're right, Joey. It was a very close election, almost a tie. Look, um, here's what I'm doing. I'm coming here to Washington, and I've been trying to do it the last 100 days, to do what I think is best for the 8th District, to do what I think the folks in the 8th District sent me here to do. And that's primarily to cut spending and help grow this economy so people can work, find jobs, work, and make a living. That's what we're trying to do. I come home all the time. I've held more town halls than any freshman in Congress, and I'm gonna keep doing that so that I always understand what my folks back home are thinking and what their concerns are. Alexandra from Schaumburg, hope you are well. Listen, there's nothing this Congress is more focused on than cutting spending and growing the economy so we can create jobs. Our philosophy is simple. Uh, we want to get government out of the way. Right now, uh, small business in this country is overburdened with regulations and taxes. It is our job to get those off of their back. Look, I voted today to uh, for, uh, to codify the Hyde Amendment to make sure there's no federal funding of, an ab of abortion. That's an important issue. There's always been a bipartisan consensus that no matter where you stand on abortion, there should be no government funding. That's what I voted for today. That's an important issue. But don't mistake the fact that our focus in this Congress is to get this country working again. And this president, everything he's done has gone against that. Hey, Laura Vincent, hi, this is your Congressman Joe Walsh, hope you're well. Look, uh, you know my record on illegal immigration. Uh, we need to secure the borders, we need to be tough on illegal immigrants, we need to be tough on the employers that hire them. In general, politicians in this city are afraid to deal with illegal immigration. Democrats don't want to, and Republicans tend to get afraid because they're, they're afraid of being hit over the head by the media. I know you might be referring to a Numbers USA rating system, a uh, good, good, strong uh, illegal immigration group. Uh, 
I don't have a rating yet because I haven't voted on any illegal immigration, any immigration legislation. There hasn't been any immigration legislation put before this Congress yet, which is why I don't have a rating. I'll have you know that I'm co-sponsoring two good, strong bills, one which would treat drug cartels down in Mexico as terrorist organizations, and another bill that I'm co-sponsoring on would demand that this administration tell Congress immediately what their plan is to deal with illegal immigration. Uh, it's an important issue. I hope to go down to the border within a month or two. Um, this is an issue that this country has to deal with, and we have to be strong. And uh, I'll get a rating as soon as we finally have some legislation. But, Laura, thanks for your question. Thank you, everybody. Keep firing these questions, and we'll talk to you again next week.